Hello everybody, Team Jet here, and welcome back to our Bretonia and Wood Elf playthrough, where I am playing as Leon Luanke, and we're currently on your screen where you are playing as the big tree, Mr. Durfu himself. How, how are you doing over there, Tom? <laughs> Slightly better than you are, oh man. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, they, 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 they've not seen this yet, so um, while I was <laughs> going through the uh, end of the last episode, um, we had fun... The um, leaf, the uh, Norskans decided to come and attack me, and um, apparently we'll lose this battle. I don't think we would actually lose it if we fought it, but <laughs> um, so I think <sighs> I'm gonna cancel my cavalry recruitment because I can't. I don't want to take the um, damage. I am going to recruit a unit of Regiment of Renown and bring the other Lord over oh no, to hopefully, hopefully add just enough weight. Yeah. Yeah. Is it enough? It is, but if I auto it, we will lose everything. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think we will win it. I think it's probably best to auto it then. <laughs> Uh, I know. It's painful. What's actually painful is getting my army back up and running. I'm kicking the Lord before something else Strength hits us. Because we've already got greenskins on our border. And we all know how pesky Tom, they can be. Tom, do you yeah? have some spare gold? <laughs> uh, possibly. Because um, I need it. Yep, uh, let me just get myself positioned first. Okay, and then... we'll, we'll swap over to your screen for a second while you're doing your stuff. So, I have a plan here. So, they've got two full stacks there, and I've got two armies, uh, but let's say close by. So, I'm going to move Durfu within replenishment range of... by the Great Canal to hopefully draw out their armies, but if not... Next turn, I'll be able to attack with my almost two full tree men armies. I think it's a pretty decent plan. You're screwed. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, however, I am, um, thanks to the financial assistance previously, uh, I can send you 7,000, all my money, which is 7,200. That, 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 that sounds beautiful, man. Because so I need, it. I want... need to, yeah. Yeah, send send a request, and. Uh... Hey, Mr. Tree Man, give me some acorns. <laughs> oh, payment. Yeah. Demand payment. There we go. Thank you. Now, if you can't win with that donation... Well... It's not about winning, it's about building up my favor. force at the moment. My income is basically non-existent. King Lewin Leonker. I'm just trying to work out what units I should be grabbing. Not going over your peasant limit for starters is probably a good. Yeah. I'm actually dropping the regiment of renown unit because I like having them as just emergency recruitment units. By the way, I decided to make uh, an alliance with the Fey Enchantress. I mean, I've got one to. Well, uh, uh, well yeah. I'm going to save my um, recruitment for now. I'm getting a lot of extra cavalry. I will have more cavalry, which will be good. Now, do I want my Knight's Errant to be able to dismount or have 15 extra melee attack? 15 extra melee attack. That's not difficult in the slightest. <laughs> no, it isn't. I mean, being able to dismount is also very good. King though. Lewin. But... And let's buff my archers a bit. Uh, 
and give my magey mage some more stuff. And end turn! Because don't forget, we also have an orc invasion going on in my territory. <laughs> I will... Uh, try and figure to out be if fair, I the orcs to left my territory. They came and attacked, then they left. It was the fact I had to deal with Bellicor coming down. Do you know what's terrifying? He has another full stack on Albion. Yeah, it's uh, because of the way that the Chaos uh, oh, yeah. Warriors recruitment is done. It's just so abusive. Especially with the AI doing it. No, I had a game like that where basically I was just... What's really annoying is it's not as powerful as a player. It's still powerful, but because it takes you time to build up as a player. Mm. But does However, Bellicor again, count as a champion or a full? He might have different recruitment. Uh, no, so Bellicor counts in the Warriors of Chaos. So he's the same kind of recruitment, but he does get access to some more demonic units. Mm. Ah, that's it. Because I was going to say, his army was very demonic. Yeah. Because the, the benefit, the thing which is quite nice, is after a little bit... Oh, God. There's another demonic army on its way. Uh, but after a little bit, actually, the um, actual Warriors of Chaos start getting... You know, you, if you keep the pressure on, you can really Ooh. reduce their armies down a bit. Um, damn it, they moved past my amb uh, <laughs> direction. ambush army. However... I'm going to have to go take that one on. It's I really so wish typical. I could get it set up so we had a little mini screen of yours in the corner <laughs> when it was, you know, so everybody could kind of see what was going on on both screens before we yeah. split. But with the fact it's freezing up, we need to work out what the crap's doing that because it's annoying as fuck. Oh, completely. Uh... I'm going to leave it on your screen. Oh, forest encounter. Well, I've got the option for confederating Orion Orion's camp now. Which is good. Uh, did you say you're on my screen, by the way? Yeah, we are on your screen. What's your actual mission thing for that? For Orion's uh, camp? Beat them in battle. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a weird can, one, but you yeah. Can take so, them. Oh, easily. I I'd have got both armies to help though. Oh no! If you look at the force disparity. Oh no! Don't tell me they. Ah, uh, they've done a really. <laughs> I mean, that's just irritating. You're surprised. Oh. Uh, I am getting basically no replenishment there in encampment stance. Nope. You won't. You're outside of your, your territory. I'm no, just... in a, in encampment stance. Literally, yeah, there's no... no... Yeah, no, you don't always. Depends on the region. Uh, anyway, I'm swapping back to my screen, man. Yep, go for it. I'm I'm Great. mostly doing recruitment Champion still, though, admittedly. Um, yeah, no, I'll swap to raiding instead. That's... Uh... Let's compare. Oh... Oh, they have buffed Battle Pilgrims. Because everybody loves a Battle Pilgrim. Battle Pilgrims now have 35 melee defense, 45 melee attack. The only thing they lack is armor piercing. I might still stick with pole arms because they're armor piercing as well. But let's have a look. Uh, pole arms are 35 melee attack. Um, add 30 melee defense. Fence. Maces are. How much armor piercing damage do they do? Yep. Pole arms are just better than everything, but against chaos, certainly. I say that. And against demons, demons don't tend to be too armored, do they? No, no, they, uh. The demons don't, but they tend to have a lot more The thing physical with Battle resistance. Pilgrims is they have a truly stupendous... I mean, they're unbreakable. Yeah, which is 
I think, what you need. Because the amount of times that and, the peasants are running... And they have something called a peasant's duty, which buffs everybody within, within range of them. As do all of my unit, all of my peasant units, to be fair. Oh, and they're immune to poison. Actually, sorry, I've got an idea. I'm going to see if I give these guys back their village. Well, no, they won't enter into an alliance with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm diplomacy by the way. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. See. Yes. So, I will listen, but my time is short. Empire. I'm done Blessings. diplomacy yes. I was seeing what we could happen. Hey, I'm all done, man. Yep, no, same here. Two turns, and I'll actually have a probably better setup. I lost the Pegasus. Pegasi? Pegasus. Pegasi. What? Pegasus is a Greek word, so it wouldn't be Pegasi. Uh, yeah. But... It would actually just be Pegasus. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, how's this? No, if it ends in an is, I believe the Greek with the Greek it just doesn't. The plural is exactly the same. I could be wrong, but I believe it's just the same. In, 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 you know. Yeah, sorry. I was just having a look on the map at this really cool-looking boat construction site. Um, it's all like in the woodlands, Ooh. in the forest. Let's have a look at that. Ooh. I always like these little map features, but I feel like this, it's because I completely understand how difficult it is to incorporate it into all the battles. Mm. But. Oh, they've moved away. <laughs> By the way, I figured out why I don't have replenishment. Why? Because it's winter. Oh, is that actually a thing in SFO? Yep. They've done a seasonal thing for the Wood Elves. Ah. So non-elf units get a 25% penalty to replenishment. Do you get a buff in spring? I'm assuming so. I hope so. green and growing. <laughs> We're on your screen, by the way, man. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The spirit of a jungle is destroyed. Right, I'm going to go see if I can take Bamboo Crossing. Oh, waiting on an action from another player. Oh, uh, you would better spot to my screen. Yeah, so do nothing. Um, hang on, I just want to check something first before we do anything. Yay, more demons. <laughs> I'm just going to spend some points buffing up my... Um, I'm, I'm going for uh, the extra melee attack for my um, cavalry at the moment. Understandable. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm still... I hate this. There's a horrible little bug where if you hover over for something and it's on the wrong size of my screen, probably because I'm on a 1440p screen, the um, the um, uh, pop-up just kind of bounces. Mm. Oh, they've got upkeep as well. I hadn't realized the Valor had upkeep as well. I may have, I may have fucked up. But then he realized he fucked up. <laughs> With all the uh, money which was sent you away? <laughs> no, no, the valor. Oh. Ah. Yes. Now the question is, do I want to start confederating? I mean, I can you... go for Her Heraldry of Aquitaine because I think it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore, so let's go for that one. Can't get the other lord back. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it just yet, anyway. My blade is ready. So I'm actually going to swap around some of my archers as well for better ones. 
that I might even get some of yours. How much? I've got 40. I could get one unit of Elven Archers. It's not really worth it. Is it not, though? Um, I mean, I could get some Glade Guard. That's it. Ah, okay, yeah, maybe that's not I worth say it. that, actually, with my forces, they're not bad. They've got a really good range. Their missile strength is lower. That's the problem. Uh, you do have the special ones, the ones which do different types of... Yeah, no, of, that's uh, what I was looking at. These guys. Yeah. Um, I was looking at a single unit of the uh, Starfire Shards. I might, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get some... Change out my peasant boat, some of my peasant bowmen. For better ones, you know, for fire and... Oh, wait. I, uh, I was still doing yeah, no, stuff. I was just moving uh, the armies into position. So yeah, I'm getting some uh, because they do fire magic and have armor piercing, so that they'll be really good. Okay, yep, yeah, it is over to you. All right, so Durthu is gonna take Bamboo Crossing, thanks to all his uh, siege trees. Uh, do they make oh, ladders? <laughs> Just walk up to Raw and let the let the dryads crawl up them. Oh, that would be fantastic. Now, let's see if I can peace out with these guys. You Is that can. worth it? Because I can't get means back you to can my... It means you can ignore here and you can slowly build up. Actually, that is absolutely worth it because you can just leave this place now. Yeah. And actually, around here, you can really make friends with everybody. Uh, the only person I would be worried about is Lizard Boy. Oh, it's gone. Faction destroyed. Spirits of the Jungle. Oh, He's just got his minor settlement one left, so I am going to go <laughs> take the minor settlement, the his minion faction, because yeah. they don't raise armies. Oh uh, no! Once he dies, they do. Once do they? he dies, they act just like a normal lizardman faction. Hmm. Do I still go <laughs> go a bit silly with that? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's. I was going to say that's a shame. It's it's not... Taking them out will make all the Kefayan factions like you more. Oh, I might have to... I, th I think I will, because I'm going to be leaving an army here anyway. And they are harder to make friends with. And you can see it's a lot of the territory you want to, to make the woods. Heal the woods! Well, I don't need to decide at the moment. Oh, because... by the way, Tom, just, 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 just to annoy nose, nose. By the way, you have to at some point just, just go and rewild um, Estalia. <laughs> just burn everything down, kill everything, and just, just plant trees. <laughs> tempting, <laughs> very, very tempting. I, uh, I, I love the scenery in Cathay, it which is we've good. done. Uh, but yeah, by the way, I've ended the turn if you want to oh, on your... sorry. Yeah, back to my screen. There we go. Yeah, C Cathay's a really interesting one, because to be perfectly honest, I thought they would have taken a bit more stuff from their Total War Three Kingdoms. Uh, it's tricky. I think more is coming for Cathay. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, because... They always like trying to balance out the number of lords that each mm. faction has available. The thing is, Cathay is... It's quite a big map, but it's not the biggest area. Um... Well, until they expand to the south. <laughs> yeah, um, and that that's the thing. I think that the, my issue with Cathay is it's a bit too stable, daft as it sounds. Yeah. It's not because like the Empire. You... You, start as, you start as France, and it's like... Oh, there's Festus. Oh, there's the Changeling. Oh, there's mm. this. Oh, there's that. Oh, it's got. Oh, and it's constant. Whereas Cafe, you can actually pretty much just hold. Well, especially once you've taken the wall, because you can't. Yeah. People, you can't. As long as the wall's held, there's teleport stance and the underway doesn't work across it. Oh, but there are ways around it. Yeah. Um, you do get invasions from the side and things. But yeah, no, I know what you mean. And it's. It's, it's, yeah, so long as you hold the wall. But no, and, and Cathay can be held very easily. And that's the thing is, is it's 
it's a bastion, basically. It can hold against ev it can literally hold against the world with very few ways into it. Which is the reason why I really think they need to uh, expand the map a bit to the northeast of Cathay to get more horde it's factions. It's been proven it can be done. Yeah. Because that that will be you know <sighs> almost orcs every coming at me again. again. Oh no, no, because there have been mods, and these mods where they're changing the map, that's proven a lot of the stuff which can be done. Um, oh, sure. And again, I believe there was some help from C. I believe I heard there was some help from CA in doing that, so they obviously know how to do it. But it proves that when everybody used to say, oh, they can't expand the map, it proves that that's just not true. Anymore. <laughs> I don't think it was ever true. I think it was easy enough for them to expand the map they just didn't necessarily need to one thing which i do find interesting though right, um, hang, on, hang on hang on hang on oh you got confederated no 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 i'm murdering some um oh you hope you're murdering no 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 i am not fighting that one we're just 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 making them go squish <laughs> warrior king farewell that is what we like to hear. And then we are going to chase down these goddamn orcs. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I think with Britonia is because obviously you've got the whole um, building chains where you've um, got the landed estates and they get buffed up by the other buildings, you know. They, the, your, some of your buildings buff up other buildings. Mm -hmm. I think you should have like an equivalent to that, which works with like your um... words failing me. Um, ports and things. So, say you've got a specialist building somewhere, it makes having farm there a farm there almost pointless. I to your orders. Ooh, so I can get for honor, which gives me extra movement range. <laughs> Of a ladies champion that gives me the passive ladies champion. Gives me a heal per second. I don't think they are. Mutually... Heal per second is always fantastic. Yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. Exclusive. The other one also reduces the cost of my army quite a bit. And gives me more allegiance gain eventually. That's huge. Well. If you sorry, I'm about to. I, I'm just working out yeah. what I wanted to do. Um, because I can't do things on your screen when it's on your <laughs> screen because it stops everything moving. I am all done, so over to your screen. All right, I am going to send Durthu just to wipe out that siege cult, which keeps chasing Durthu around. You let them burn some of your trees, you traitor honest, tree. I wanted to get rid of a few. <laughs> well, no, it was... You um, are a monster. That's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing. A monster tree. Right, and let's get Dirthu moving around. I'm ready to take the Tower of Ashung next turn. Uh, let's go see what I can build in Aqualon. Ah, it's difficulty of deciding whether to build the Asari mm. Forge for reduced... It's only upkeep in regions. Yeah. However, it does also reduce construction costs. I would maybe get that for the time being and get rid of it later on. Yeah. I don't know if you need it for this, but I know in the base game you need the forge for some units. You don't for this. And I believe as soon as I've just finished spending some skill points, I am good to go. In turn. Yeah, just uh, running around the forest. So yeah, as I say, the plan is I'll uh, attack the lizards, make the, C the Cathayans like me, and then I will send Durthu to his next tree place. Yeah. It's a place of happiness, so to speak. Oh, 
Oh no, it is still a fun campaign, uh, Durfu. I do like, I like all the Wood Elf campaigns. Since they updated them, they are much, much oh, better. So much better with the updates. Anyway, I mean, if these orcs don't run away, we are going to have a fun cat fun battle, mullering some orcs. You know that uh, that orc army which killed us earlier? Yeah. Well, last ge game. Well, not us. You mean you. Not us. You were helping. <laughs> Basically, Watching. them with a, love, with a decent army. And a lot of cavalry. I mean, that's definitely not something to complain about. <laughs> Burning Wind Nomads doing something? Uh, yeah, they were just moving their armies, running away. Leaving your territory. <laughs> Leaving the territory, yep. That's not right. Ah, uh, the vampires keep going. Not aggression pact, please. <laughs> in, please. in pure hope. I am the blood of Jean. Oh, you've got something happening. Yeah, no, I, I just I had a uh, no. multi-option pop up. Fuck ah, 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 ah. We need to fight this for simple revenge purposes. <laughs> Rewengi will be mine! By the way, uh, you didn't say that the heroism thing only triggers when their HP is less than 50%. Which heroism thing? You know, the plus 15 melee oh, attack. Oh, I didn't twig with that. I didn't actually notice that. That's still fine. It's still good. <laughs> less than 50%, is it? Yeah. It's still really solid. Yeah... I, I like the dismounted as well for attacking certain places, but. So, are you going to give me control of the Wood Elves? <laughs> yeah. They're peasants, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, your army feels very. Your faction feels very Rohanish right now. No, there's not enough cavalry. Yet. Have you remember the. Uh, was it Battle for Middle Earth? The one where you were controlling loads of you and you know, do the Battle of Helm's Deep and everything. Yes. Oh, love that game. I was never a huge fan. What? Uh, are we are we attacking by the way? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna get the infantry in a line and lock so they can move forward. I am king! Just be careful locking formations. Again, we want to, they they will probably charge you. They're orcs. And they don't have any. You say that? No, they're orcs and they don't have artillery. They will charge. Uh, they do have archers. Artillery. Well, if they're going to charge, I'd prefer to be further. Do you mind if I move at the back for positioning? Yeah. I mean, I was almost going to say use the riverbed. Uh, trees in the way of the arrows. Yeah. It, That's the. Hang are on. You ready? At uh, worst case, bait. We can bait them with your, uh, with the um, caster. With your lord. Well, they're going for the cavalry, by the looks of it. Or just repositioning. Oh, the Wood Elves have such good range. Yes. Why do you not have them in the center? Because if they wipe out the flag, it doesn't make any particular difference which... By the way, I'm just moving the caster forward to get some Thunderbolts. Oh, yeah. Down in the center of their formation. Uh, if you don't double time... I was double timing to move forwards, it's fine. Yeah, no, it makes it really awkward for the targeting. Pull back, pull back. Oh, yeah. 
I'm just going to double time for a second to uh, get them, you know, while they, they reposition themselves massively. All right, I need it uh, on... I can't wait. There is an Attila mod being done. Um, I might, I, if you can just move forwards a little bit to get them focusing on you rather than my cavalry. Yep. Uh, but no, there's uh, an Attila mod which is going to have a, a Lord of Rings campaign map. I'm so looking forward to that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move them forward again with the mage. Mage tactics. <laughs> <laughs> the boss is dropping in where they've hit us. Yep. Well, at least the archers is doing a lot of uh, oh that charge was nice the best position for some thunderbolting. Cavalry is right behind them, just I'm buffing them up some battle pilgrims because uh, they've taken quite a quite a hit. I'm not bringing any of the infantry round to flank them, just because it leaves the lines open for your cavalry. Yeah, no, no. I was going to say I, I I was about to suggest it, then I actually changed my mind. Uh, by the way, would you mind getting those nasty skulkers on my archers at the back with your cavalry right there? Here we go. King Lewin. Cleanse our land. And they are utterly breaking as our cavalry just, just have fun. And they're just waiting for their lord to break, really. I reckon as soon as their lord breaks. Why does your wizard have the ability Pursuit of Battle? <laughs> yeah. That is such a... Check the items she has when you get chance. That feels like such a non-caster. No, look what it does. It's really solid defensive ability. It's really, really solid on her because she will get in melee. And it means the longer she's in melee, the tougher she gets. The harder she gets to do damage to. That was a really solid battle. It's nice to have one of those for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leon, Leon... Is Leon meant to be more of a duelist? Um, he is a fairly good duelist, but he's meant to be... But he's not the best. I mean... You want to be a proper duelist, your Grimgore or your um, Loki or your Wolfric. Yeah, Wolf. I mean, we all know Wolfric's just the best duelist. But if you want Wolfric to be a duelist, don't put him on his mammoth. Don't put him on a mount, full stop. Yeah, no. If you want somebody to be a duelist, don't put them on a mount. Yeah, smaller target, harder to hit. Oh, no, no, because if you're on a mount, you do AoE damage. If you're on foot... 
depending on the hero. Here, so like Wolfric on foot will do single target damage, or the mammoth it spreads it about. Ah. Uh. Same with uh, Loki at Felhart. Uh, anyway, hmm. guys. Uh, well, let's see our stats. There we go. But that is where we are gonna leave this one for today. So, with our revenge. Achieved. I'm actually just gonna ch chase him up I and take finish my him. Lead. But oh, whoa, 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 silly, silly, silly auto unit <laughs> track. Yeah, that, that. But yeah, so we are gonna leave this one here for Champion today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. And uh, yeah, Grio has been avenged. Um. Yeah, comments down below, guys, for what you think we should be doing as well. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F, Egg, Scrin, and Jared Hall. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.